Welcome back to Retro Game Geek. Today I'm going to show you how to turn an Odin into a Stadia controller so you can play on your TV, like you see up here. It's ready to go. Uh, you can play on the TV using a Google TV or a Chromecast Ultra, like the one we have here. So let's get started. First, you'll want to switch your ABXY mode going into Odin settings to Xbox. So it corresponds to the way Stadia is expecting the controller to be. Then we load the Stadia app. And this is great, for example, if you want to play multiplayer, you need an extra controller, or if you want to travel somewhere and you don't want to carry your Stadia controller with you. So normally you would play um, on your Odin directly, but we want to play with using this as a controller to play on the TV. So I'm going to hit the controller icon here. And you need to scroll down to Phone Touch Gamepad, even though you don't want to use the touch screen, you still have this, and then play on TV. And connecting. And so it connected automatically because I've already connected it before. Controllers show up right here, and then you would have to type the code. For example, when I go up here on the TV, see on the TV here? And then controller. And there'll be a controller code, and you need to touch this on the touch screen on your phone, uh, on your Odin, that is. This also works on a phone. If you have any Android phone, you can connect. You can either use the touch screen on your phone, or you can connect a controller to use the controller directly from there to the TV. For example, you can connect an Xbox controller or a PS4, PS5 controller. See, menus are working fine here. I can hit the Stadia button, that's fine too make captures. Oh, I have to make, if I'm in a game, I can make a capture. Let's go into a game here. Let's see here. Let's try Celeste. You see, you won't want to navigate away from the, um, this app while it's running. Because then you lose your controller. There we go, push A. And I can control this, going down, up. And go climb. And let's start a new game. Again. Okay, here we go. That's completely responsive. I don't feel any lag at all. Just jumping around here. Avoided that. <laughs> and I died already. Anyway, you get the point. Now we want to quit out. You see here, we go to you hold down the stadia button like you always do. And you see up there, you got your usual options. You can resume game, exit game. And in this menu as well, you can also use your Odin to control the UI here. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share with your friends who play Stadia. And now you know that if you need an extra Stadia controller, you've got one in your, well, not in your pocket probably, but in your case of your Odin. And um, note this can also be used as a PS4 controller. So subscribe and I'll show you that in the next video. Alright, catch you next time on Retro Game Geek.